Happy Super Tuesday to all of you out there. I'm Bree Berry. Welcome to the midday. We have a news update for you right now. Like I said, it is Super Tuesday. So jumping right into that, the biggest contest of the primary season now underway in 14 states and one territory. Of course, that includes right here in Texas. So last night, we spotted Joe Biden hanging out with Beto O'Rourke at where else? But a Whataburger, taking some pictures there with fans. Can you blame him? But this one was in Dallas. Now, Biden had just received endorf endorsements from Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar. So he decided to go spend that time at Whataburger. Now to Bernie Sanders. He seems pretty undeterred with everything going on. Still drawing pretty big crowds, pretty much bigger than anybody else right now on the ballot. He told supporters in Minnesota the political establishment is getting nervous. And then Super Tuesday is also the first time Mike Bloomberg is on the ballot. So we know he spent hundreds of millions of dollars on his campaign. So that'll be interesting to see him on the ballot for the first time. Tulsi Gabbard and Elizabeth Warren are also still in the race. So a lot going on for Super Tuesday now in Tennessee. There are reports that Super Tuesday uh, polling locations are being impacted by the deadly tornado. So this is just really, really devastating. Take a look at this right now. This is the lightning that just gives you a glimpse of the size of the funnel that moved through downtown Nashville. I mean, it is it just gives me chills when I look at it. This happened during the early morning hours. At last check, the tornado killed 19 people. Look at that damage. You can understand why. Tom and I this morning were talking about it when it first broke, and originally it was five. It quickly climbed to nine, so devastating right now to look at that death toll. First responders are still looking for survivors and what's left of dozens of buildings that have been completely flattened by storms. We're talking about Nashville. We're talking about the surrounding area, so not only worried about anyone who might still be trapped, um, but also, you know, the the historic buildings that could be damaged. So we're waiting to get an update from that. I encourage all of you to, to, to pray for the families across our state that are facing tragedy right now and that are dealing with heartache and hardship. That's the governor there talking. Of course, prayers needed. Most schools in the Nashville area are closed today. Super Tuesday voting was delayed an hour in the area. Uh, the area is affected by the tornado. So. We'll keep an update on that for you, but on Houston's south side, a young boy is among several hurt when a police chase came to a crashing end. This story is just crazy. Our reporter Jeff Ealing has been on it all morning. Now, police say they were trying to stop a driver for speeding when that chase began. Neighbors tell us they could hear the speeding car moments before it crashed into an SUV that was at the intersection. Take a look at the damage of those cars. I heard one car. One car, that car was going about 90, 90 to 100 miles an hour from this direction into here. Okay, so as if looking at that damage isn't bad enough, there were two teens and a nine-year-old boy in the car. They're all in the hospital now, along with the two people from the SUV. Police say the car where the juveniles were driving turned out to be stolen. So, strange story there, and we'll have the update. Of course, hoping everyone is okay from that incident. All right, switching gears now. Do you have an iPhone? You could be making some money. So Apple is paying up to $500 million to settle a class action lawsuit. Okay, so no, you're not going to get $500 million, But the suit accuses Apple of slowing down its older iPhone models to compel customers to buy newer ones. iPhone users in the U.S. can find settlement claims if they owned any version of the iPhone 6 or 7. So just 6 or 7. Um, and each owner could get about $25 per affected device. So $25 more than you had before, right? And finally, we understand that some of you don't like watching commercials. I understand that. I feel you. But you may like this one. Listen. All right. I got Subway. Turkey, my favorite. Turkey's my favorite, bro. No, it's not. Tuna is. I changed my favorite, Derek. Hey, knock it off. Sorry. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have two siblings, and that is something I've lived before. The Texans player, you recognize him. JJ Watt and his brothers fighting over a Subway sandwich in that commercial there. So, yeah, okay, maybe I'll make an exception for How that. How did they fit those big guys in there? Must be a big I, you know, truck. I was kind of wondering what vehicle that was. They 
they probably snugged real, real tight, and then that was it. I know how their mom feels. That's me with my boys. Yeah, is it? All right. Knock Don't it off. To get out there and vote for Super Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. See you tomorrow.